Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to a Lingasha. Hi! Now I'm really fucking stupid, like I filmed like literally like five minutes of video and I realised the microphone wasn't turned on. Because I'm a dumb bitch, I'm here today because I was sent a question and it said, You say YouTube's changed your life, but in what ways? I've made five bullet points of things that have really changed in my life since starting YouTube. So I want to tell you these things because I really want to encourage people to start YouTube and you can really experience these kind of things yourself. So before I get into that, I want to quickly give you a tiny backstory. I'm going to take you back to summer 2008. I was a very, very sad person back then. I just came out and I sort of accepted being gay, but I was very, I was still very un uncomfortable with, like sort of everyone knowing. I felt quite alone a lot of the time because I, I didn't have any gay friends. I didn't know anyone like that. I wasn't really doing anything with my life. I was really confused about what I wanted to do. I was getting fat. Like I was actually getting fat, which is really weird. I was just in a really horrible place back then. And one day I just decided to start doing YouTube by myself. That's obviously where everything started. So number one is obviously my confidence in being comfortable. You know, YouTube has really helped me sort of like I accept who I am. I want to quickly show you a video um, of me when I first on YouTube and it was my Big Brother 2009 audition. So this is what I was like back then. I've noticed that a lot of the time it's always kind of stereotypical gay people who go in and I want to kind of break that mould because I'm nothing like the stereotype as people would say. See, even though I accepted being gay, I was still really like, I really didn't want people to just know that I was gay. YouTube's really helped me just to become this. Like, I'm so happy now and I'm such a good place in my life and I love who I am. The next point I want to say is friends. When I first started, I had no friends. I didn't know anyone. I was really lucky enough to get onto my first ever collab channel, which was called That's So Gay Daily. And I was able to make um, some really good friends with that, Warren and Ryan. And then over time, I was able to go on an another channel called Five Happy Brits and then I made loads of more friends on that one then Gays of the Week and I've made so many friends through that that's the one thing that I never had interaction with gay people and that's what I really needed I needed to feel like I needed to talk to people who knew what it was like and obviously as you guys know my best friend Matt I've met on YouTube I absolutely love this bitch to death he is literally like my best friend and I adore him if you could see me now you'd see me drop it like it's hot the third point is going places I have been able to go to Toronto Canada for a week I always go to London all the time now and obviously I've been to Edinburgh I've been all the way around the fucking country now because of obviously being on YouTube and meeting people. Next year, guys, I'm going VidCon. No matter what happens, I'm going VidCon. Another point is skills that I've gained from this. When I first started doing videos, I didn't even edit at all. And now I can edit, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to make myself sound big-headed, but I'm really good at editing now. My skills have obviously improved so much. This is all progressed from me just doing shitty videos on my webcam. Also, this kind of ties into Matt as well. He's taught me how to make music. You know, I never knew how to make music on Fruit Loop Studios before. My last point I was going to make is extra things. You know, I can't believe... I've been on TV. I was on two episodes of like a nine part series. It was called John Bishop's Only Joking. You know, a TV producer saw my videos and was like, do you want to be on this TV show? And I was like, of course. I've got singles on iTunes. Like I still can't believe Roland, who can't, I mean, I can't sing. Like, let's be realistic. But like, I've got songs on iTunes. Now I'm so fucking happy. I did not listen to a single motherfucker in my life back then. When I first started YouTube by myself, all my friends mostly were like, why are you doing that? What's the point in this? Why'd you bother doing- I just spat everyone, I'm sorry. Why are you doing this? What is the point? Just get a real job. Like now I can look at them and just say, fuck off, fuck off. I've gained you guys, which is obviously the most important. Like, let's be realistic. The fact when I'm at Gay Pride, people come up to me and like, I watch you online, I know who you are, and they obviously take me have like a hug and stuff. Like, it feels so good. YouTube has li literally changed my life and it gave me a life. It literally saved me. Okay guys, I'm gonna go now. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be fun, it's amazing, be gay, be everything you wanna be. And happy birthday to anyone whose birthday it might be today. Okay, One of those literally like perfect evenings and then I woke up because those kind of things only happen in dreams because I've never been on a date before because no one loves